It's National Dog Day. We love seeing your fur babies and we asked for pictures and we got hundreds. Betsy, this one is so great. Meet Margot May. She's showing off those pearly whites with that big old smile. Oh, it looks like she's napping and having a lovely dream there. And this one is pretty hilarious too. Christina Copen sent us this uh, of these uh, couple of dogs here, uh, just kind of snuggled up all together. As you can see, they're super sweet. Uh, love to see those pups. And of course, I have to show off my own little man, Lenny. His name's Lenny Kravitz because he's my rock star. He is a 14-year-old Yorkie who is extremely grumpy. He's impatient and he only whines at me, never Jason for some reason, but I still <laughs> love him. Ah, oh, the Lenny stories are yes. kind of fun. It was one of the best parts of when you guys first got here. He Thank is trying to a total personality. It is unbelievable. It certainly is. Well, I mean, we all love our pets, and we know that you do too. But with so many people working from home, learning from home with school, mm -hmm. uh, they're trying to negotiate everything with their fur babies every day. That's a real thing. So we mm -hmm. actually reached out to Valerie Ross Smith from Sits and Wiggles for some new tricks and tips that you can actually try when your dog starts craving attention when you're on a Zoom virtual meeting. First up, she recommends starting your day with a long walk to tire them out a little bit. Then she recommends holding some of their breakfast and giving it to them in a fun new way. So one of my favorites, um, very common one that we see is, of course, the calm. You stuff it full of good, tasty food. Um, a concern a lot of folks are, well, if I'm doing this every day or for every Zoom call, won't that make my dog fat? That's why I said, you know, hold back on that food. Don't feed them out of out of their bowl. If you soak their dry food or maybe you use some canned food and mix it up and then stuff it in your Kong. If you freeze your Kong, you're going to have even longer time um, to kind of have your dog distracted and, and working on something without bothering you very good tip. She also recommends the snuffle mat. That's a rag rug with a rubber backing. Valerie says to spread your dog's food or a few treats on it and it'll slow them down to kind of give them some mental enrichment as well. Now she did warn the mat is a little pricey. You can find them on Etsy or her shop as well. You know, that's good advice. The long walk. I did that today. I had to MC an event from 12 to 1.30. I made sure to walk Lenny all around downtown, make him tired so that he'd be napping on purpose during my Zoom.